Now in both these curves, if we increase our pressure or reduce our volume, what happens? The particles tend to come closer and, and the intermolecular attractions that we were considering, interactions that we were considering to be negligible, they start coming into picture and they'll not follow the same smooth curve as they look here. So, so at higher pressures here, the things will change. Okay. How they'll change, we'll come to understand when we go for Van der Waals forces and what will happen, but, but they'll change. Fine. So at, at, at higher pressures, at higher pressure, that is lower volumes. the atoms of the, the the gaseous molecules or atoms okay, gaseous molecules come closer together together and and the intermolecular attractions, the intermolecular attractions come into play. Okay. Thus, the straight line is no longer a straight line and also there is deviation and also there is deviation from the shape of the rectangular hyperbola. This should be understood. This is important. Okay. <clears throat> now, as we are saying that as, as I am reducing the volume and the mass still remains the same, what should happen to the density? The density of the gas should increase, is it not? So, so let us try to, to find that out. So, so as the volume decreases, And since the mass remains the same, and since the mass remains the same, what happens? The density is the density will go up with increase in pressure. Is it not? It has to go up. As my volume goes down and I am saying that the mass remains the same and the and, and that that happens when when the when the pressure goes up. It's not that volume going down is some natural phenomena. Fine. Okay, you have to force it. So, so the density will go up with increase in pressure. How? Now, what is density? Density, density is equal to mass upon volume. Correct. And what is one upon v? So, 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 let us try to understand. It is. This is this is my Boyle's law. Is it not? This is my Boyle's law. So P is equal to 1 upon V into K1. 
सो वन अपॉन वी इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन के वन इज इट नॉट सो सो दैट इज इक्वल टू एम एम इंटू एम अपॉन के वन इंटू पी नाउ इफ मास इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड के वन इज अनदर कॉन्स्टेंट then obviously the ratio of those two constants is a constant so if i name it say k dash then i get this as k dash into p so what do we get i get density as k dash p so density is directly proportional to pressure. to the pressure okay so the density is directly proportional to the pressure fine okay now what happens so so let us plot it hmm let us plot it it will be a straight line fine Plot it. So density versus pressure. Is this? This is pressure. This is density. This is pressure. Okay. Is it something like that? Fine. Let us say you 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 change the temperature. What happens? So I am here. What will happen? Hmm. The slope will decrease. The slope will decrease. How? the temperature increases so the pressure is decreasing increases or increases, increases. Sorry. the temperature increases the pressure increases so the same value of pressure pressure increases so what happens to the volume i i don't know what you're saying pressure increases volume decreases and volume decreases so density will go up density will go up so how should this be plotted like that or like this अप और लो एट अ हायर टेम्परेचर वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन टू दिस Slope is no. What happens to K one with change in in temperature? If it increases, then K one increases. What happens to P? So both increase. So what happens to density? Hmm. 
Now you don't even know how, how they change, right? Huh? So how do I how do I argue about it? If temperature increases, pressure increases, but K K also see you are taking this as an absolute constant. Don't do that. Don't do that. It, it is not an absolute constant. That also changes. At the same pressure, at a higher temperature, what happens to volume? It goes up or uh, to, to density. It goes up or goes down. That's what is my question. What? That's a good way of resetting someone. What do you mean by what? I am saying, I am saying the temperature goes up. How do I draw this line? Lower or higher? It will be lower. How? How? No, no, how, how, how? K1 increases, T also increases. Yes. What next? P increases at the same volume. At the same volume? At the same volume? No, try. What? Goes up, goes down, what happens? Remain the same or remain? See, it is pressure versus density. Okay. Pressure versus density at some other temperature. What is the way to go about it? How do you how do you give the logic? See, so so I don't do not know density. So what I'll do at a lower temperature. See, see, this is the lower temperature thing. Okay. This is low temperature. This is high temperature. Now I'd like something to be equal. Say say uh, say this is this is the lower temperature. Okay, now what happens at the higher temperature? You go in terms of volume. When the pressure of the low temperature and the high temperature are equal, what happens to the volume? That is what I want to know. When the pressure is equal. Because if the pressure is the same, hmm? If the pressure is the same, I want to know in both the cases. Suppose you start increasing the temperature and you did not change the volume. What will happen to the pressure? It will go up. It will go up. If I, if I was not changing the volume, now <coughs> it will increase. Now I want the pressure to be the same. So what way do I have? the volume has to go up. So for the same temperature, for an increased temperature, this is this is the higher temperature. Hold on. I don't know. That is right, I think. So so this, now you think, now you think, the pressure here 
is the same as the pressure here because because i increased the temperature so if i had kept the volume the same the pressure would have increased i want what happens to the pressure so pressure so the volume has to go up so that the pressure remains the same now what is the density here this is high temperature this is high temperature mass remains the same so volume goes up so the density here is less so so it it will drag here because it is p versus d no the trouble is that okay so so it will somehow go down so here t3 is greater than t2 is greater than t1 so you should develop this common sensical kind of logic don't get get involved in the jargon correct don't go into the jargon because because this goes up that goes up so ultimately what happens you will not be able to know in what proportion has p increased in what proportion has k1 increased but but somehow this tells you one one great thing you know and what is that if you increase the temperature the k1 increases faster than your p increases okay so so when you increase the temperature and and i'll write it here maybe a book or no one discusses these things but so so when temperature goes up when temperature increases k1 goes up or increases uh, i goes up k1 increases faster than than the increase in p so that overall the K, the overall the the this p by k1 actually reduces is it not correct we get the point and we know how to plot it fine 